Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this piano tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can take any exercise which you are practicing on the piano and most of these exercises which we end up doing are on 4-4, four, four, 4 beats per bar. What I am trying to do here is to train your mind to focus on the other dimension which is time. Because usually we just focus on pitch, fingering, when to cross stuff, when to stretch our hand, when to bring our hand together, what notes we are skipping in terms of intervals. Those are the general things we practice. But I find that piano students don't are not motivated enough to practice rhythm. So why not practice rhythm along with pitch? So the same thing you do, let's, we are going to take an exercise which I'm sure you are all familiar with, which you heard in the intro video, and we'll just make that exercise a lot more useful and make your time on the piano, your practice time very well spent and a lot more efficient. So for example, if you have 30 minutes to practice your scales or some exercise, you might as well do that and also benefit from having improved your sense of timing or your natural rhythm sense. Okay, so before we get started, our notes are available on our Patreon page for just $5 a month. You'll also get a MIDI track, staff notation, and not only for this lesson, notes and notation, backing tracks, MIDI, for all the lessons we have pretty much ever done on YouTube over the past five years or so. So do consider a Patreon subscription and there's also a subscribe button somewhere there for those of you who don't know it. It's a nice button to press. It won't bite. Please hit that subscribe button and there's a bell also. So do consider ringing the bell for regular notifications. Let's get cracking. So I'm taking a very simple exercise which is which is just a scale going ascending, descending or arohan and avarohan as we say in Indian music and I'm not even taking the whole scale it's just five notes if it was the whole scale we would play the whole thing but all the eight notes including the octave but we are just doing one two three four five four three two one two three four five four three two one if you're uncomfortable doing it with both hands fair enough just do it with the right hand more than enough now the drill is for just so you know c d e flat f g f e flat d and the scale i'm preferring happens to be the c natural minor or c minor in general because even the harmonic minor will have the first five notes like this, right? So this is your C minor. Keep going. Maybe speed it up if you wish. So a nice way to start off would be take the drill and just go in types of notes or note values which you know. Start with moving this or moving your head and playing every note to the pulse movement of your head. So if your head is moving like this, this is going to be your tempo of the song. So, one, two, three, four, pulse, two, three, four, one, and it seems to naturally align as a four by four song. There we go. Two, three, mm. sa, re, ga, ma, pa, ma, ga, re, sa. However, you can do this as eighth notes too. Let's see how that goes. Sa re ga ma pa ma ga re sa re ga ma pa ma ga re sa ga ma pa ma ga re sa re ga. Maybe if you're ambitious or if you're able enough, you can do sixteens, one e and a two e and a sa re ga ma pa. So sixteen, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two. Or eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. Or crotchets or pulse notes, quarter notes as we also call it. One, two, three, four, one. This is probably something you're practicing or I'm sure if you've learned the piano for about even four to five months, you would have definitely done an exercise very close to this. If not, I think you're having some problems out there. So you take this drill and now... What we are going to do is to think of this from different time signature perspectives. So all we need to do is, I'm just posing a challenge. 
So what if this is played on 4x4? Is it actually 4x4? Who is to say that? Who is to you know decide that or judge that? Is, is it a fact that this is 4x4? Well, if you play it, it seems so, isn't it? Because you're starting here and you're ending there. So it feels like a nice upper ladder, down the ladder. And it takes you this much time. 1, 2, 3, 4 takes you 4 to go up and 4 to go down. So it naturally feels like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. You know, 3, 4, 1. It naturally feels like it's even or it's 4 beats in a cycle or something like that. I want to prove otherwise. So for example, why can't it be 3? So if you have to count sets of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now normally when we play 3s, we might practice triplet exercises on the keyboard. One, two, things like this, right? 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But what if we take the same exercise? I like this one. Why can't I just do it on 3 by 4? It doesn't seem designed for the, pro for the uh, process, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. You see what's happening there? I cannot change my pitch. I'm not supposed to change my pitch. So don't do... No, that's wrong. It's still... 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Two, three, four, one. Now to become... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Your head can... Do one for every three. One, two, triple it, triple it. And another strategy to help you count better will be an Indian conical system where you can just voice out a word which could be If I bring this back to 4x4, four four, it's the same exercise. If you see this, I'm not changing the notes at all. The same notes. It's just the accent or the volume. I'm controlling which parameter of music now in this drill. I'm controlling volume, not pitch. Because I told you, do not con don't change your pitch or the pitch ordering. It has to be like that. But now what can I control? I can only control volume. So that's three. To propel yourself to get that better. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. If you're a singer, you can practice your swaras while doing this. Pretty well. You, it will become a good swara challenge because I found that some Hindustani and some Carnatic learners tend to forget their swaras. It's sometimes easy to sing Saregama Pamagare Saregama Pagare. You kind of memorize the word, but if you have to do Saregama Pamagare Saregama Pamagare Saregama Pamagare, it forces you to know your swaras. In and out, I think. As you can see, even I'm taking a little bit of time. So even I need to practice this. Singing is an additional challenge which is really good. I suggest that for you. Sing the swaras wherein One, two, three, four, five. These are the degrees of the scale. One root, major second, Minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth. We call it just to sing it easily or to speak it easily. Sare gama pa ma gare. You can also do do re mi fa so if you prefer that medium of study. However, I don't use that a lot because I'm from India. In this part of the world, we use swaras a lot. One, two, three. And it's an interesting fact that anything you do, even if you do a set of three notes, just so much. Again, this feels like, um, you know, even. One, two, three, four, one. But you can make that three. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, one. And it was naturally... So 
it's a bit annoying to do smaller sets of notes but it's a good practice now if you do coming back to our five sounds a lot musical i guess okay now if we've done three four is anyway by nature if you look at the pitch grouping we can also now move into other numbers maybe let's take a bigger number like five One two three four five. One two three four five. It's not naturally five. It's naturally four. So one two three four five. 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 One. So you're doing your piano exercise, <clears throat> your run of the mill exercise. Now you have to think about your accent grouping. develop your study of playing in odd time signatures and there is another thing which is being trained under the hood which is your finger strength because every finger which needs to accent will have to slam that key really hard normally we tend to slam our thumb and our pinky but the ring finger and the weaker fingers are not used that much so we kind of just slip them into the play so but in this case you are forced to make every finger have its own voice 1 2 3 4 5 one ring middle index pinky index middle ring thumb so every finger gets a chance to kind of stand out so let's do that with some changing bass notes 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 
Okay, so six is pretty much three twos are, so it's easy to do there. Uh, what about seven? Seven you can do one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two like that. So seven would be three four five six seven. Finally, it recycles itself after seven into four into two beats or seven into four into two notes. How much is that now? Oh man, that's a long number, isn't it? Seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight into two, fifty-six. So you are going to play fifty-six notes before you feel happy about having completed this exercise. I actually started this exercise off way back in the day because I used to keep telling kids, "See, when you do that drill." They'll do it once and then tell me, sir, I've got it. It's over. You know, I mastered it, and they feel very happy. So this was kind of a good way to get them glued to the piano and play it for a bit longer. And I think they kind of enjoyed it. At least I hope they did. Anyway, so that's about seven. You can do well. Sky is the limit, which could end up being seven only, or else you can go to nine or eleven or anything. And mind you, if you're going to bigger numbers like nine and eleven and thirteen, you can do these sub or mini groups. Nine could be considered as four meets five. So, for instance, one two three four, one two three four five, one two three four, one two three four five, one two three four, one two three four five, three four one two three four five, one two three four one two three four five, one two three four one two. Three four five one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four five one. That was a rather long drill. Nine into four into two. Nine fours are thirty-six into two. That's seventy-two notes in the drill. So you have to think a bit more when you do more and more. numbers or more and more uh, cycles of beats right guys so this was the approach don't forget to consider singing it and if you are a guitar player or a horn player or a violin or a flautist watching this video or if you'd like to execute this on other instruments i feel it's the exact same principle do 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 you can do this on any instrument really it's just that that instrument will have its own challenges both visually and physically more mentally i think it will challenge you because if you can already do 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 well you have the physical cap capability to do it it's just mentally speaking you have to figure it out and don't forget to sing if possible sing the swaras if you have had some kind of hindustani carnatic exposure or at least sing the names of the notes that would be pretty helpful okay guys thanks a ton for watching the lesson hope this helps you with your practice and don't forget to head over to our patreon you can get yourself some supplementary notes for this lecture and a lot more which we've done in our, on our youtube channel and if you'd like a more structured env environment towards learning music the piano other instruments as well which we teach at nathaniel school of music you can consider heading over to nathanielschool.com and filling up a form and reaching out to one of our course advisors and we can help plan a semester for you right thanks a ton for watching the video cheers catch you in the next one